Hey, Tony from Bikeberry here. Welcome to video one of Porting Masterclass. So we're going to focus on this type with the open transfer ports. What we're gonna do is we're going to clean up the exhaust and the intake. Let's roll. First up, let's get some safety glasses on, plug our ears with some earplugs because we're grinding away little bits of metal and we wanna keep it out of our eyes and we wanna keep the loud tools out of our ears. Next is 1000 grit sandpaper. That's for fine polishing and smoothing out. We got some nice files here. I suggest that you get some because you're gonna to need to kind of nitpick some areas that only a file can reach. We have a rotary tool. I think this is the Dremel 3000. And so it's perfect. It'll do what you need to do and you can get attachments to do more as we dive further into port work. Also got some different bits to try, some ball end and a polisher with some polishing compound because the goal is we want to have the exhaust side smooth as butter. We want the intake side opened up and a little bit roughed out so that it'll atomize properly. You can see that I have two clamps holding it right to my workbench. I like holding it this way because then it can be held by both sides straight to the workbench and it won't move as easily as it does in a vise. Now there are vices with rubber jaws that will hold. I'll probably get one down the road, uh, but this has proven really well for me at this moment. So that you can see your work, take a little flashlight and lay it in there like that. Then you can see the edges really well. These tungsten carbide bits love to be run at full speed. So anything that's high speed steel or tungsten carbide, full speed. I'm gonna try one of these grinding bits. They're for chainsaw sharpening, so I thought we could try it out. Oh yeah. All right, let's take a look. We got it roughed out. You can see that it needs to be opened up a little more on this side just to match the other side. But so far, we're looking really good. A lot smoother. The edge is nice. If you look at inside of here, the edge doesn't have anything to catch. We'll end up chamfering that a little bit. One main thing we're getting away from is you can see it has these corners. See these corners here? See how nice and rounded this is? That's what we want. We want it nice and rounded and smooth and flat. And it being flat is attributed to using these kind of grinding bits. This is for chainsaw sharpening or anything flat. I noticed uh, people using conical shaped and that would be fine, but I like a nice flat one because then it reaches the entire length of the port and we can get it pretty smooth from the get go. 
Well, the time has come for the file. This one has a nice flat side and a curved side, so it's perfect for port work. Now, the thing to think about is that we did a rotary cut on it, okay? So the tool is spinning this way. The file is gonna be moving up and down across those cuts. So you're gonna get it really flat and smooth and ready for the sandpaper. We're gonna do 1,000 grit sandpaper, and then we're gonna do polishing. To protect the inside wall of your cylinder, I like to take a piece of wood and put it inside of here. So that way when my file is going up and down, I'm hitting the wood and not the inside of my cylinder wall. Flip it over and do the flat side. You can see how pretty flat it is. It's pretty close to polishing time. So when you feel inside of here, you're kind of feeling for any gouges or anything, but I think this is pretty good. I feel a little bit one down there, so we'll attack that and then we'll bust out the sandpaper. All right, it's sandpaper time, thousand grit. Cut you off a slice like this and go to town. Sometimes you can layer it up like that. All right, so basically you want to get it as smooth as possible. That's your goal. Keep looking around there and anything that you see in there, just keep whittling away at it until you're satisfied with how smooth it is. Time for polishing. All right, so you can see that it's pretty smooth all around. Anything that you see scratch-wise, just go back to the sandpaper file and keep refining until you see it as smooth as you want it. Let's flip over to the other side and do the intake. Intake side, so the goal is to round out these corners, clean it up, and then use the bit to roughen it up so we don't have to worry about polishing this side. We just have to worry about 
uh, getting these corners more rounded and basically scraping the surface. This is where the uh, half rounded file comes in real handy for these corners. Pretty happy with the corners. They're much more curved than they were before. They were pretty much hard 90 degree angles before. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it. But what I am gonna do is use this acorn shaped bit to roughen up and give some variation in here just so we can make sure that the fuel air mixture gets atomized. So it's kind of rough now, but I just want a little more variation in there. Well, hopefully that encouraged you to bust out your rotary tool and start grinding on your cylinder. Get those ports opened up, get them smooth, get them operating, functioning the way they should be so you get optimal performance. So what we're going to do next that you'll see in the next video coming up is we're going to chamfer the edges because we want maximum flow in, right, and maximum flow out. And then also in your ports on the inside, let's see if you can see those right there. Uh, we're going to chamfer those because we don't want the rings on your piston to get snagged. So that was something that I thought we need to really focus on by itself. And then in that same video, what we're going to do is go over your gaskets and how to cut them back because you've opened things up. Your gaskets aren't going to fit properly and you want to make sure that they're not causing a restriction. So look, look out for those things in the next video. But I'm excited that our porting journey has started. We're going to take it all the way as far as we can. So there's going to be video after video after video as I tackle each part of the process. So ask any and all questions in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and in the comments below, ask if there's any porting techniques that you want to learn or that you know of that are that's really helpful please let me know and I'll add it to my list of porting techniques. So the goal of this is to be a masterclass because down the road, I want you to be able to go to this playlist and see every step of the process and every technique and all the cool stuff that people have done out there. I want to get it all in one place so that you have a reference for each and every step. So thank you. I appreciate you. I'm excited for this. Let's roll.